News. This is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. It was a stormy day across the Twin Tiers, but here's a sight you don't see every day. There's the rainbow and some lightning happening at the same time. So a pretty neat sight there. We had reports of severe weather across portions of our viewing area. Some of the thunderstorms containing torrential downpours, gusty winds, and even half dollar size hail in some areas. But the lightning very vivid late this afternoon and early this evening. Well, here's what we're tracking at this hour. Still some showers and thunderstorms out there at this late hour. Again, the worst of the weather now to the east of Elmira. Uh, these showers and thunder showers working their way off towards the north and east away from Elmira. But the center of low pressure is still back to the west, and that's what's going to come through during the day tomorrow. Uh, so we still have the risk for some showers and thunderstorms around. Uh, not expecting severe weather but again, thunderstorms can't be ruled out. Uh, looking at some pockets of moderate rainfall right now, generally over Bradford County and areas uh, up towards Tioga County in the southern tier. But Chemung County still looking at some showers as well. In fact, as we take a closer inspection of where the heaviest rain is occurring, along Route 6 from Troy over towards the Tawanda area, and then up and down Route 220, definitely give yourself extra time if you do have to head out on the roads uh, late tonight, and then up into the southern tier of New York from Elmira, and then points to the east over towards Owego, looking at some light, uh, occasionally moderate rainfall. Now, as far as rainfall amounts went today, they varied quite a bit just across our viewing area. This is Doppler radar rainfall estimates, and where you see the greens and even some reds, that's where the heaviest rain fell. So, Chemung County and then down towards Bradford County, up towards Tioga County in the southern tier, Tompkins County, all got hit with decent rainfall. Many areas with over an inch of rain. Not as much, though, to the west of Troy over towards Tioga County in the northern tier of Pennsylvania. And then section to northeastern Steuben County up towards Yates County, they got hit pretty hard with some multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms up towards the Pulteney area. That's where they picked up half dollar size hail earlier today. Now temperatures at this hour in the 60s. We're not expecting readings to move much from where they are right now. And then tomorrow dodging a couple more showers and thunderstorms. Otherwise peaks of sunshine and temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80. So it'll be a seasonably warm day, but still on the humid side. You can see with future track as we progress through the afternoon, Hit or miss showers and thunderstorms will be there and kind of like today, uh, any rainfall could be locally heavy with any thunderstorms that develop. So keep that in mind if you have outdoor plans, but certainly not a washout because there will be uh, hazy sunshine mixed in between uh, some of those showers. Now, all this associated with low pressure that will finally lift on through tomorrow and into Wednesday. Wednesday, cooler with some leftover showers, but by the time we get into Thursday and Friday, drier conditions will make a comeback. And we'll be looking at temperatures in the low and mid 80s, so it'll be a, a mild end to the week. We're looking at 85 here for a high temperature on Friday. We should stay in the 80s through the weekend. Today, we forecast a high temperature of 84. 85 was the official high temperature. Tonight, 63 for a low temperature. Still a few showers and rumbles of thunder around. Can't rule out thunderstorms tomorrow. 5 degree guarantee 80. Showers linger Wednesday with slightly cooler temperatures and then drier conditions to follow Thursday and Friday.